Hey, what's up y'all? Gary, one tenth, and today we're going to talk about how to install the TRX4 portal servo on axle adapter. Let's check it out. All right, so here's what you're going to get when you order the actual adapter itself and then a pack of hardware. You'll bare minimum get a M3 by 45, M3 by 16, and an iLock nut. Sometimes I'll include the hardware to mount the actual servo as well, but most of those are going to be M3 by 12s, sometimes 14s, depending on the thickness, different mounts that I have, but M3 by 12 with a nylock, you'll be good to go. Um, <clears throat> the servo mount itself is pretty form fit to the axle, so it doesn't fit many other axles very easily, but essentially it's going to create the fourth link spot over here. You're going to essentially just wiggle it into place. You can kind of see roughly how it goes. Um, but I usually start kind of get it lined up in the front there and then it'll slide down and you are going to have to kind of wiggle it, walk it into place. It's, it's designed form fit. So obviously you need to put screws in there, but it is designed to hug the axle, minimize any wiggling and just to make it a stronger all around. We are spaced for 7.5 millimeter link mounts to be nice and tight. If you're running skinnier ones, you can just put some, uh, little washers in there to space it out. If you're running wider pivot balls, I'd recommend switching to some 7.5s or you can widen this outer portion here. Don't touch the inside portion because that'll mess up geometry, but you can touch that one there. But as with uh, most of the servo on axle mounts, doing everything before you uh, install it onto the rig is gonna be the easiest. So you can slap your link mount in the slot created by the servo and axle adapter. Put your other link in the OEM slot. And then you're just gonna run this three by 45 through. I like to go from this side, it's easier to access. Run that three by 45. This is threaded right here. So once you hit that portion, you are gonna have to screw it through that thread, but you still wanna back it with a nut uh, once it gets through onto the other side but drive that screw through the factory mount. And then once it pops through, slap a nut on it. Almost through, there we go. And the screw popped out. All right, we're gonna take this guy. Of course it's upside down. Let's get the pliers like I should. Drop him right there. Hold him in place, get it started. A few twists in. Then you come back, give this last couple of times. I wasn't holding it tight enough there. The last couple of twists. So for all intents and purposes, your links are mounted now. The aluminum version, the one tenth mount, does have a brace off the pan hard. Is it 100% necessary? No, not really, but I much prefer to have extra bracing than not enough. And since this one doesn't use the back of the pumpkin like the Boko one does, it, it is best to utilize this uh, extra brace over here on the pan hard. So drive that on through. And then depending on, um, how many times you've messed with the pan hard in the past if your pan hard mount still has thread still is is threading you don't have to worry about backing it with a nut it's a 3 by 16 plenty long but i did make it a 3 by 16 in case your pan hard is stripped out then you can't back it with a nut if you have one so um easy install 3 by 45 3 by 16 and if if you're reinstalling or lacking a screw you can even get away with like a 3 by 12 you just want to make sure you get all the way through that mount as long as it's threading and then like the other mounts, make sure you install the servo beforehand as well. Um, you don't absolutely have to, but it makes things easier. So there you go. One tent servo and axle adapter for the Traxxas portals. One of the best bang for the bucks and tightest fits. There you go.